Hey guys, this is Coach Spihalski here at Cousins Martial Arts, and I'm here today with our teens and adult lesson for today, okay? So we're going to get ourselves warmed up with a couple of little exercises here. We're going to start off, I want you to turn your hands to face your back and extend them out to your sides. You're going to bring them together, but keep the backs of your hands facing out and out, in and out, okay? We're going to do 10, 15 reps of this, okay? This is going to help warm our shoulders up. Okay, we're gonna be using our shoulders quite a bit today. All right, a couple more. Get those 10 to 15 reps in. Okay, a little bit of isometrics, good. Okay, next, we're gonna do a trunk twist. So you can put your legs apart. We're just gonna rotate our trunk in a big circle, okay? That's it. It's gonna help warm up our core. Okay, make sure our hips are nice and loose. And go ahead and switch directions. Okay. Nice, good work. Okay, last thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do some hip circles. Okay. So start with feet just a little bit further than shoulder width apart, hands up in front of you. You're gonna bring your knee across and then around. Okay. It's gonna warm up your hips even better. Make sure our legs are nice and warmed up too, okay? A couple more. Nice, okay. So today for our technique, we're gonna go over an upward and a downward elbow strike, okay? So key things to keep in mind when we do our elbow strikes is that we wanna have an open hand, okay? You wanna keep an ablated hand because what this does is it ensures that this part of our arm right here stays solid. When we make a fist, it causes the muscles right in here to tense up and they will create a cushion here. We don't wanna make a cushion because this is what we're going to be striking with. So it's important that we keep a nice bladed hand to keep this surface right here exposed to bone, okay? So we're gonna start with the upward elbow. Upward elbow is great for catching somebody, especially underneath the chin. Okay, so we're gonna, when we do our upward elbow, it's kind of like combing your hair with your hand. It's gonna come up past your head, right in here. Now, whenever we do an elbow strike, we don't wanna just use our arm, okay? My arm weighs 10 to 15 pounds. Yeah, that wouldn't feel too good getting cut out of the chin, but if I can throw more behind that, that's going to be a more damaging and more um, effective attack, okay? So from here, I don't want to just move my arm. I want you to take your hips and drive your hips forward, just like you would with a cross. Go ahead and pick up that rear heel to help drive that elbow upward and a little bit forward, okay? This helps us get our whole body behind that elbow strike as opposed to simply just picking our elbow up, okay? So let's try that out, right from here. Upward strike, rotate that hip, upward strike. Upward strike, upward strike here. I'll give you a different viewpoint right here. Upward strike. Okay, if you have somebody who can hold a pillow for you, um, having a bag like this works to a degree, but at the same time having a flat surface that you come up against kind of just like scrapes this. In reality, our contact point is right up here. So if you hold out something uh, horizontally like this, that upward strike will hit and you will understand what part of the arm you are using, okay? Now we're going to move on to our downward elbow strike, okay? So there's actually two different kinds of downward elbow strikes. The one I'm going to focus on uses that same exact attacking area right here, okay? So for this, we're going to use that same motion where we turned our hips before, but instead of coming up, I'm going to come around and dive my hand down past me, okay? So from the front, this comes around and down in front of me. Now, if you can catch somebody in the top of the forehead right here, that's bad news for them. You catch them in the nose, they probably have a broken nose. Catch them in the teeth, either way, you've probably finished the encounter right there, okay? So we wanna come down and in front Okay, now the only drawback to this motion, while it does have a lot of power that's stored up, it leaves us in a position that is 
you know, right here. This would mean that we would have to untwist this way. Good for following with a jab, it's not necessarily a power strike. We can do the same thing though with that lead hand coming down to set up here. Somebody backs off, there's your cross, okay? So for that downward elbow, I come around, I dive this right in front of my own cheek as I turn my back foot to bring that elbow across in front of me, okay? So let's try a couple of those together, all right? Down, 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 down. One more, down, okay? Practice this on both sides. So we're gonna move on to our conditioning portion. For conditioning today, we are going to do 30 seconds of an exercise and then 30 seconds of rest, okay? So you have plenty of rest in between. This is gonna help elevate your heartbeat, but at the same time, it's also gonna work your core. This is a very core heavy conditioning workout. All right, now for this, you're going to need a chair, okay? Uh, I went through and I purposely picked up a bunch of exercises that involve a chair. So this will give us a little bit different way of working ourselves out and working on something. Okay, so it won't be uh, quite as bland that way, all right? So, the first exercise we're gonna do is we're gonna do push-ups with our feet up on the chair, okay? So I'm gonna put this chair right back here. Put my hands down, feet up on the chair, and we're gonna do push-ups just like this, okay? I'm gonna switch this around because my clock's over here. All right, so 30 seconds on, and then we'll have 30 seconds of rest. Grab yourself a, a bottle of water or something to have on hand. You can take a drink in between, not a big deal. All right, so we are going to get started here in 15 seconds. All right, so once again, my feet come up, my hands are going to be down. All right, we got five seconds before we start. Right from here, try to make sure you got good balance and go. Nose doesn't have to touch the floor on these. You can go right behind you, okay? Right up here. That's good enough right there, all right? We don't want to overstrain our shoulders, all right? We got 10 seconds left. Keep it going, guys. Keep it going. Keep those push-ups going. Ready? Three, two, one, and time. Good, okay? Give yourself, we got 30 seconds of rest here. We're gonna move on to a one-legged plank. Okay, so right from here, just like that same position we had before, we're gonna have our feet up, and we're just gonna pick up one foot and hold, okay? You're gonna feel this in your core, promise. We have five seconds left, so why don't you get yourself up and ready to go, okay? Three, two, one, and go, okay? Just hold it up. You wanna keep a nice straight back when you do this, Okay, it's important that our back is nice and straight. If we flex too much down, it's gonna put a strain on us. We're not building our core muscles this way, okay? All right, keep going. You've got five seconds left. Four, three, two, one, time, okay? You've got 30 seconds of rest. We are gonna move on to a different kind of plank, and then we're gonna come back to that one-legged plank, okay? So I'm gonna move my chair over here. I'm gonna have my hands out in front of me, and I'm gonna do a plank this way. Now, the further back my feet are, the more difficult this gets, okay? So you can kind of gauge this one on how well you feel. You've got five seconds. Three, two, one, and hold. Again, just like our plank from before, we want to keep a nice straight back for this, okay? All right, doesn't matter how far your feet are, but like I said, you want to push yourself, you can move those feet out a little bit further, okay? If you get a little tired, move those feet up, the chair comes underneath you that way, and you got a little more stability that way, it's not as difficult, all right? We got five seconds, three, two, one, Time. I thought it was five. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go back to our one-legged plank, but this time we're gonna switch our feet. I want the other foot up, okay? So, we still got 15 seconds of rest here. 
right? And then we're going to be done using the chair, and I've got two more exercises after that in conditioning um, that we can do just on the floor by ourselves, okay? So we've got five seconds left. Get yourself in position. Three, two, one, and go. Keep that leg elevated and the back nice and straight. Make sure you're breathing during these exercises. It can be kind of tough because we are having to uh, hold our core to keep our position, but it's very important that you are breathing during these, okay? All right, keep it going, guys. You got five seconds. Three, two, one, and time. Nice work. Okay, so we can push the chair to the side for these last two. Um, the next exercise we're gonna do, we are going to do up, up, down, downs. Okay, so for up, up, down, down, we get into our push-up position. You're gonna come down to your elbows, just like a regular plank, and then back up. So it's nothing crazy here, it is a good work, arm, work up for the arms, okay? So we got five seconds. Three, two, one, go. It doesn't matter if you go to the same side or if you switch. Either way works, okay? Try and keep those hands centered underneath of your shoulders. Keep it going guys, keep it going. You got three, two, one, and time. All right, so you're probably feeling pretty good right now. We got one left, we're gonna do mountain climbers, okay? So for mountain climbers, we get in our push-up position, we're gonna bring one leg up, and all you're gonna do is switch them. Now, the difficult part of this, making sure our back stays nice and flat while we do it, okay? Flatter your back, the more you're gonna emphasize those core muscles that you're looking for, okay? So, we're gonna go in three, two, one, and go. Try and keep that back down. Moving the, shuffling those knees up, okay? Keep breathing, we're almost there. Keep it moving, keep it moving. We got 10 seconds left, keep it up, keep it up, you're almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Okay, so that is our workout for today. I hope you guys got to feel good, especially that core right in here, okay? So, until I see you next time, take care of yourselves and each other. Have a great night, guys.